everyone today in this video we'll be discussing about the module 4 uh, super important question of ACA which is regarding the cash directive protocols there are just few key points you have to write to expect full marks let me explain you how do you remember those key points and write it in your own words and make sure to like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this without wasting any more time let's get started so what's the uh, first thing is explain cash directive protocol in detail with example so you have to explain what is cash directory protocols okay so uh, before cash directive protocol you have to understand what is directory protocols okay directory based coherence is nothing but it is a mechanism to handle cash coherence problem there is a problem which uh, deals with the cash coherence the cash will be there but that will not be synchronous with the other cashers so that problem is there okay so we'll be using the directory based coherence we'll be having a directory which will be referring uh, at, at each moment of time so to uh, resolve that coherence okay and uh, that is found in the distributed share memory or so known as dsm or non uniform memory access and uma okay in these two places this problem comes and we'll be handling it using directory based um, coherence now how does exactly that happens is um, we'll be using the special type of computer bus in which uh, there will be a connection between all the nodes so that co coherence will happen that is called as shared bus and directory based coherence is a special directory to serve the uh, shared bus instead of the bus based coherence protocols okay and uh, no matter if it is the shared bus or the directory based coherence protocol both of these use the medium which is the directory or the bus as the tool because something should be there in the middle which will be connecting one uh, one thing or the other thing right and uh, that facilitates the middle thing facilitates the communication between the different nodes okay and it guarantees that the communication is working properly along all the other nodes if it is working properly then only it will be moving on further and in directory based cache coherence, this is done by uh, using this directory to keep track of all the status of the cache blocks. Here we'll be keeping track of all the status of the cache blocks, what are the functions being performed, as well as what is the uh, node that are getting shared, what the node is sharing to the other nodes, that all the uh, things we'll be keeping track of. That is uh, what the main uh, concept behind that cache directory protocol this is the main task of the cache directory protocol. And it can be used to eliminate the need to broadcast all the signals to all the nodes. See, suppose that I want to give you something, okay? Instead of uh, giving it to you, I'll give it to everyone. Obviously if I give to everyone you will also get it right but everyone will also get it there will be a lot of resources waste here I am just interested in giving something to you so I'll be just uh, sending to the nodes that are interested in this single block where it is required there only I'll be providing that's one of the advantage of cash directive protocol okay so that's all make sure you the like button subscribe for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one